superannuation remains one of the most popular investment vehicles in Australia. And for most Australians, superannuation will be their largest asset in retirement. Yet, many people have no idea what their super balance is, and what happens to the money that they or their employer put in their super fund. In today's video, we are going to explain to you how your superannuation is taxed. Generally, money invested in super is taxed at a lower rate than your personal income tax rate. Superannuation may be taxed at four stages. First, when contributions enter your account. Next, while it is in your super fund. Then, when you withdraw your super benefits. And lastly, when you die. There are two types of contributions, concessional and non-concessional. Concessional contributions are money paid to your super fund from your pre-tax income. They are tax deductible to the payer and accessible income to the super fund. They are generally taxed at a concessional rate of 15%. These contributions include the compulsory superannuation guarantee and any pre-tax contributions that you or your employer makes on your behalf, such as salary sacrifice. If you earn $37,000 or less annually, any tax you pay on your super contributions may be paid back into your super account via the Low Income Super Tax Offset, or LISTO. If your income and concessional contributions total more than $250,000, you may have to pay an additional 15% tax on some or all of your super contributions. Non-concessional contributions are contributions made from your after-tax income. They are not tax-deductible to the payer and not subject to tax in the hands of the super fund. Tax on super investment earnings. Investment earnings made in the accumulation phase while you are working are taxed at a concessional rate of 15%. But if the earnings are capital gains from an asset owned through your super, for more than 12 months, and then sold, the tax on the gain is effectively reduced to 10%. If you're drawing a retirement income stream from your super, then the investment earnings are exempt from tax, including capital gains. Tax on super withdrawals. Once you've met certain conditions like reaching your preservation age, between 55 and 60, depending on your date of birth, you can start accessing your super in a number of ways. In most cases, if you're 60 or over and choose to withdraw your super as a pension, in the form of a retirement income stream, it will be tax-free. If you're under 60, a portion of your super will be taxed at your marginal tax rate. A 15% tax offset will generally be available to lower any tax that may be payable. You may be able to withdraw your super as a lump sum payment when you retire. Generally, you can access this money without paying tax if you're over 60. Tax on death benefit payments. When you pass away, your super will be paid to your beneficiaries. If you don't nominate a beneficiary, your super fund may decide who receives your money. The amount of tax that will apply to this money depends on whether your beneficiaries are classified as a dependent under the taxation law whether the benefit is paid as a lump sum or income stream, whether the super is tax-free or taxable, whether the provider already paid tax on the taxable component, the age of the beneficiaries and your age when you die. Superannuation is a tax-effective way to save for retirement. Knowing how superannuation is taxed can give you greater control and the confidence to make the financial choices that are right for your needs. I hope you'll find this video helpful, and don't forget to follow our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you and I'll see you in the next videos.